My child, I come to you today with an important message. Pay close attention and open your heart, for what I am about to tell you concerns the fate of all my people. The time of separation is upon us. The wheat is being separated from the chaff, even as I speak. This is not a time to fear, but to rejoice, for it signals that the great harvest is near. Just as a farmer separates the wheat from the husk before it can be consumed, so too must my true followers be distinguished from the tares that have sprung up among them. Just as the mature wheat can be easily distinguished from poisonous tares, so too will my faithful servants be set apart from the hypocrites and deceivers. And this separation has already begun. Even now I am using the threshing instrument of my spirit to beat and shake my people, so that the wheat might be loosened and separated from the chaff. Yes, this process can be uncomfortable and even painful, but do not resist it, for it is necessary to expose the toxins and impurities that have corrupted my people for too long. The time of purging is here, so rejoice. For once the refuse has been cleared away, nothing will remain but the pure, wholesome wheat, my true believers, who will nourish the world. But to some this separation brings sadness rather than joy for it requires my loyal followers to relinquish their grasp on poisonous relationships and associations that have wrapped themselves around their lives. Well-meaning but undiscerning believers have allowed false friendships, ungodly influences, and heretical doctrines to creep in and wrap themselves around their spirits. Rather than nourishing faith, these carnivorous intruders have secretly been sucking spiritual life and draining discernment. They produce their own meager, bitter fruit, but only by slowly killing that which is wholesome and good. This is why the time of separation has come. I must now intervene to loosen the vine's grasp and lift off the parasitic growths that have attached themselves to my people. I must thresh and beat and shake until the poisonous weeds come loose from the pure wheat. This process is rarely easy or gentle, but it is altogether necessary. The crop must be readied for harvest, lest the tares overwhelm and destroy the true grain. So if you feel me removing relationships, activities, or mindsets from your life, do not resist. This is me, your Lord, clearing away the carnivorous growths that have been silently strangling your spirit without you even realizing it. Trust in my pruning process, even when it is painful. Soon you will see just how healthy, vibrant, and fruitful your spirit becomes when I strip away the counterfeit attachments. The sweet, wholesome fruits of my spirit will begin flourishing in the cleared garden of your soul. Yes, this is a sober time requiring courage, faith, and spiritual discernment to navigate. For as the tares are exposed among my people, you will be shocked at some of what is revealed. Leaders you respected will be exposed as frauds. Supposedly wholesome organizations will be revealed as smoke screens for the enemy. Even doctrines and religious systems you have clung to may be unmasked as man-made chaff, lacking any true spiritual substance. In the midst of this turbulence, you must be anchored to me and my eternal word alone. You must know my voice and learn to discern truth from error, sincerity from hypocrisy. Ask for and cultivate the gift of discernment, for you will need it in these times of separation. Pray for the courage to see what you must see and to align yourself only with that which is pure, true, and holy, rather than clinging to poisonous relationships out of fear or nostalgia. It will not be easy, but I tell you, a vast and glorious harvest awaits those who endure this process of separation. For once the wheat has been loosened from the chaff and disentangled from the weeds, a bounty remains that has never been seen since the first Pentecost outpouring two years ago. The spirit-filled saints who emerge from this threshing time will unite in love and power to bring in an unprecedented harvest of souls no longer diluted by worldliness or wedged by ungodly associations, 
my faithful remnant will go forth in purity and authority to reap, teach, disciple, and shepherd new believers. They will expand my kingdom throughout the earth with astonishing speed through their moral conviction, selfless compassion, and spirit-given power. So do not shrink back from this necessary season of separation, my child. Understand its purpose and necessity as I refine you for greater works ahead. Trust in me to align your heart, your mission, and your associations correctly in these turbulent times. For those found faithful through this process will emerge as golden wheat, fit for the master's use. They will shine like the sun in full strength as vessels of honor, ready for the coming harvest. This is my promise to you, my precious child. Yield to the threshing and separation for just a little while longer. Understand the spiritual realities at work. And have courage, for your redemption and vindication draw near. The harvest is plentiful and the laborers are being prepared. My beloved, I see your heart and understand your desire to walk the narrow path with me. Though the way is difficult, take comfort that I will never leave you to walk alone. The time of separation elicits mixed emotions in many. Some react with relief that truth comes to light, while others mourn the loss of what is exposed as false. Both responses are natural. I do not condemn those struggling to reconcile relationships now revealed as unwholesome. Spiritual growth is a process, not an event. Still, reconciliation cannot come at the cost of truth. Stand firm in me, and I will help you find peace. This threshing of my people ushers in a new season of growth. As you abide in me, I will nurture humility, wisdom, and spiritual discernment in you. You will learn to separate fleshly emotions from my spirit's gentle promptings. In stillness before me, sensitivity to my whisper grows keener. As you walk this out daily, handling each issue patiently, eyes fixed on me alone, you will develop discernment unmatched by those lacking your experiences. This discernment will become a guiding light to many lost in darkness. While some relationships clearly end this season, others linger awaiting discernment. If unsure about a connection, patiently give it over to me. Avoid hurried reactions without my direction, as some associations await future purpose. My timing and purposes absorb many factors you cannot see. Humility admits you lack this broader perspective. Arrogance rushes headlong into error. Wait on me, and in my timing, true character is revealed. In other cases, the way forward remains mired in doubt. See in this uncertainty an opportunity to grow in grace. Just as plants strengthen against winds, so your trust in me grows through trials. None escape this testing. Endure with patience and courage, remembering I see and honor those upholding truth and justice even at personal cost. Your actions, whether seen or unseen by others, shape your character for future trials. My strength and peace carry you. Stay vigilant, my cherished ones. As you step into promised victory, keep your gaze fixed on me. I see failure peeking around faith's corner, awaiting distraction's opportunity. Only in me is found grace and power to overcome. Abide in my forgiveness, love, mercy, and strength. I will prune unfruitful musings to make room for more of me. If brethren cause offense, release them quickly to my care. I judge rightly and know each heart intimately. Your role is not for accusation. Therefore forgive and release judgment to me. Nothing escapes my notice and I promise justice tempered by mercy when surrender is genuine. You need not carry bitterness's burden, but rather overcome evil with good. Through unified prayer and spirit-led actions, entire strongholds fall swiftly. Demonstrations of love dissolve wicked schemes. Even desperate pleas for mercy thwart generational cycles of injustice. Appeal to heaven through prayer and action, believing I respond. No evil can withstand concentrated prayer. Awaken to your authority. 
Nothing withstands my spirit's thrust embodied in surrendered hearts acting in bold faith. The threshing separating wheat from chaff brings new beginnings wrapped in loss. Transcending the painful work of this season, a vibrant future dawns. Steadfastly cling to me as power awaits manifestation. Through yielded hearts fixed on me, continue surrendering to my cleansing work. A rich inheritance awaits my faithful. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard the wonders being prepared for those loving me. Do not lose sight of hope's horizon, where cascading glory spills into the earth. What seems foggy now will soon glow with magnificent color and clarity in new daylight. I am swiftly approaching to make my presence known among those who have devoted themselves entirely to my purpose and plans. Join these chosen ones, distinguished by a seal of purity and strength. Let my spirit guide you in examining your heart and aligning your character with mine. As you do so, consider sowing seeds of generosity and kindness. Just as a farmer nurtures the land for a future harvest, your acts of giving and compassion plant the seeds for a richer, more compassionate world. In this way, you actively participate in the unfolding of a divine legacy, one that thrives on the principles of love and benevolence.